Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with wonderful brown and white chicken stock. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making chicken stock. I'm going to be making a white chicken stock, which is what everyone knows. I'm also going to be making a brown chicken stock and it's just the process of browning the bones and the vegetables first creates a brown chicken stock and it's really, really quite something. Um, what I have here, a chicken I've just roasted. I'm going to take that off the, all the flesh off that and we're going to use that carcass along with three other carcasses which I've had in freezer bags because um, I do this all the time and it's very economic use so if you ever like going out and buying just chicken breasts you really should stop you should buy a whole chicken it's you're gonna save yourself a lot of money in the long run and by the way the legs are much nicer anyway anyway that's enough of that now for the intro uh, I think you're gonna really like this one all right so I do this all the time I, I roast the chicken do at least once a week usually and uh, we use that meat for sandwiches and things like that but uh just thought I'd show you that's me very very simply roasting the chicken make sure you get the core temperature to a reasonably high so that it's cooked all the way through and let that rest whilst we prepare the mirepoix the the stock vegetables that's a fa fancy French name mirepoix and I've got leek onion celery garlic leek onion yeah that's it and carrot roughly chopped up that's rested the chicken for a little while there and we've uh, got some juice. Now obviously I'm doing this hot, normally I would do this cold so it wouldn't burn my fingers quite as much as this is doing some. But it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you very very quickly, that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking off the, the meat and leaving the carcass to one side. Not the skin, the skin is going to make the uh, the stock a bit fatty so we, we take off the skin and to be honest with you. I eat that. I know, gross, isn't it? Anyway, there's uh, there was some more meat on the underside of the chicken. The on the back is called the oyster meat. Get all that. That's really nice. And so there we go. It doesn't look very nice. I know, but there's four carcasses there, ready to make two stocks. Now normally I'd only just make white chicken stock. Don't really do the brown chicken stock very often. But I thought I would show you the difference and. Well, just just how different it is just with a different process just by roasting so that was half of the mirepoix with the two chicken carcasses into the oven to roast to get nice and brown and i'm going to keep my eye on those turn them around every now and again the other one the other half of the chicken and the mirepoix is just going in a pot with cold water that was some peppercorns that adds a nice little flavor to it and and the recipe will be in the description and the herbs oh and some parsley went in as well and cold water to the top, don't worry measuring the water too much, just to the to the top of a nice big pot and you're going to simmer this for a few hours. So after about an hour of roasting, 45 minutes to an hour, nice golden, deep golden brown colour. I'm happy with that. Let's get that into the other pot that I have, swirl that tray to not waste any bits. And then the same, the cold water, the herbs, the peppercorns and one extra different ingredient a little bit of tomato puree or p tomato paste depending on where you are in the world and that can sit on the stove next to the white chicken stock and that's the resting juices I thought well let's not waste that chuck that in there and this is the simmering and skimming so just just be careful with the skimming try not to lose the stock but basically the fat will come to the surface very gently, like gently, but you know, very delicately, just try to remove some of that fat. It's not absolutely essential. When this thing chills down, the fat will rise to the surface, so you could always scrape it off then, but it'll be a bit cloudier if that bothers you. Not so much, really. It's all about the flavour, really. So, three hours I've been simmering those. Now, this is, I strained them with the colander, first of all, and I've got two conical, well, a conical strainer and a shimwise, just like different size mesh. Uh, holes in them but if you've got a regular sieve that you'd use for flour that will be fine as well just pass it through that to get all the little bits out and do the same with the brown stock and I just thought I'd show you the yield I have here so that is perfectly good to go chicken stock I put the measurements there just over three pints really but because I don't have that much space in my freezer what I like to do is this I like to back into the clean pots and reduce and reduce and reduce by more than half usually uh, and just until it gets really really gelatinous and and thick but basically you can see that so that was the that's a lot less now than it was before it's reduced by more than half and this is the next day and I'm just the kid I know I just love the way it looks it's so gelatinous so concentrated but when you use that you only need to use a very little bit because it is so 
concentrated. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to me where I'm going to taste them. Right then, so brown chicken stock, white chicken stock, they're so different to each other. If you taste them, the, the flavour in the brown chicken stock is much stronger. Um, yes, it's got a little bit of tomato in there, but other than that, it's identical ingredients. Just the roasting is, is the key and what gives it that extra flavour. And the white chicken stock, well, this, this stuff I love, mm. quite a few of my videos have chicken stock in it. Um, risotto, uh, you cook polenta, any sort of form of soup or stew, a gravy, anything that you um, would go to normally a, a stock cube for. If you've gone to the effort of buying a whole chicken because it works out more effective that way, cost-wise, roasting it, just don't throw away the carcass. You know, add some root, some uh, stock vegetables and make a white chicken stock. And I think that you will not be disappointed and, and it's going to elevate your, your basic everyday cooking to another level because it is, it's a foundation in cooking. Anyway, um, so the next couple of videos I make, I think I'll be utilizing these. I think I might do a, a red wine sauce or like a cheats version of a demi glass with this brown chicken stock. And I don't know, we'll do something with some, this white chicken stock to give you some ideas. But I thank you ever so much for watching. And I do hope while you're here, you give us a, a thumbs up, you know, a comment, sharing, that sort of stuff. Subscribing, subscribing is great. Any of these things I'd really, really appreciate. And I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye.